Food makes the Simmons family smile. <laughs>I grew up in a family, a working family, where my father uh, owned a retail business, and retail is hard, you know, it's long hours. If, if you own a chain, that's different, but when you own a store, or in his case it was a shoe store, the hours are brutal. You get there yourself at 7 in the morning, vacuum the carpet, clean the windows, and wait on the, the customers. Not a big business by any means, just made a low middle class living. And I worked in that shoe store from the time I was about 10 years old. I'm not exaggerating, 10 years old. They dragged me down there at Christmas and Easter and week Saturdays. And, uh, and uh, I'd take the bus, bus down there and, you know, clean the store up, get it ready to open, let the salesman in. Um, so I, was, I worked as a kid, and, and most people don't do that when they're kids. So I think that work ethic uh, that was... Um, or driven in. I, I, I can't say I volunteered, but it was expected of me. And so I worked and I, I guess I, I must have enjoyed it because I kept going back for more. Uh, it was um, a dishwasher at a place called Prebles in Pasadena, California. And the second job very quickly was a short order cook behind the same counter there. And uh, as a cook, and I didn't have any formal cooking training, but you kind of learn OJT, and uh, and I can that I got fired, and uh, I remember cooking steaks up, and they're real stringy steaks, you know that you get that band of fat on the outside, and if you don't really know what you're doing, I mean you can cut it obviously so it'll lay flat, but I was dumb, and steaks went out, steaks came back. Uh, the owner manager came up to me and what kind of crap are you serving here and I said if you didn't buy such pieces of meat quality meat I wouldn't have the problem it was an ugly scene first fire uh, I graduated from high school in 65 I went to college for about a year or so while I was working and then I decided I liked working more than going to college, so I took a semester off. And it was during the draft. I, I thought my deferment would last. I didn't think they'd move that quick, but they did. So all of a sudden, I was in the Army. And uh, they moved me up to Fort Ord, California, north of where we were living. And uh, I grew up out in Southern California. Um, and uh, spent two years in the service, um, all stateside. Uh, started now in California, lived in uh, Georgia for maybe six months at an uh, air base there, and then I was transferred to Alabama, Hunter Army, or er, uh, Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville, Alabama, and uh, I was stationed there for shy of two years, and that's where I met my wife, and where we got married. And, uh, and, and that's where I got out of the service. In, in 1970, I was released from the Army. And now what? So my wife was a school teacher, uh, teaching little kids. And I was uh, a bum. I mean, I, you know, you think about her parents who didn't know me. I mean, I'm this kid from California, and she's in Alabama, sort of Southern values kind of family. and. Uh, uh, so that'd be quite a shock for her parents having me roll in. We went down to New Orleans. Her, my, my mother, my, my mother-in-law, took my wife and I, and my wife's sister down to New Orleans to go visit, uh, to go visit the sister who's going to college down there. And uh, we stay in a dumpy motel. There's no money, and uh, she brings back a sack of burgers to the motel, so we have something to eat. And uh, I bit into the sandwich, and I, I'll never forget. It was like, oh my God, this is, I, I've been a foodie too. I've always been fat. I was fatter actually than this. And uh, I thought, this is the best damn burger I've ever eaten. My mouth's watering right now thinking of that. It was incredible. And I, I, I know food. And uh, what is this? It was, a, it was a Whopper with cheese. 
She says, we have these at home in Alabama where they lived and where I lived at the time in northern Alabama. And uh, we have Burger Kings there. I said, you're kidding me. So I couldn't wait to get back. And uh, so then uh, I was going to school and I decided I want to work too. So uh, I looked through the paper and there was a job for an assistant manager trainee. And uh, I jumped on it. It was a buck ninety an hour. Uh, it was probably less than I was making when I was in California as a dishwasher. I don't know, as I was to say. But uh, anyway, I took the job and I enjoyed it a lot. And uh, I very quickly moved up the ranks from assistant manager trainee to an assistant manager to a restaurant manager to a district manager over the course of you know, three or four years. I'd sit in that chair and I'd arrive in the morning at seven and I'd still be in that chair at nine or 10 at night uh, up front. And by then I was tired, so I was sitting. But uh, you know, there was hardly a sandwich that went out of that place that didn't get my look over. And then I'd walk through that dining room all the time and do what nobody does in a fast food restaurant. And I'd do it today if I had places. I did it before I sold. And I'd, I'd walk around to walk up to your table and say, uh, how are those fries? And you'd look, kind of look at me like surprised I'd ask. And, He'd probably eat one and say, oh, they're good. I said, how about salt? Is there enough salt on that? Some people will ask you, how's the food? But to take the next step, is there enough salt on them? Are they hot enough? You know, I'd, I'd do that because I cared about the quality of the food. Um, yeah, I just wanted things right. I feel like what you give comes back to you. Uh, yeah. I really do, almost, almost to a fault. It's like, it's gotten, this last few years, it's worse. I mean, they. They see it, drives my wife nuts. But little things like tipping a server, you know, I'm, I'm, so, uh, I'm, I'm, all, I'm, I'm, I'm over the top, but not, I mean, I, I don't know what over the top is, but if, the, if it's a, if you normally call for a $5 tip, I'll throw 10 down, I'll throw an extra five. I'll never miss that five in my life. But that server is very meaningful to her. And this is though my superstition, because I have this health thing. So somehow I've had it in my head now for, I've been sick for, 11 years or nine years? How long has it been? Anyway, and, and I'm not supposed to be here and I am. So, you know, is that, you start thinking, is there a relationship here? I don't know. I can only say that I try to make a difference where I can.